Hi there, I'm Aussie Villain. Welcome to the 13th and final episode of our Manchester United Beat the Save 13. Unlucky for some, we didn't plan that right, did we? But this is it, a massive way to go out. It is the double final episode. It's the FA Cup final first against Spurs, and then the Champions League final against Olympic Lyon in Spain, of course, Olympic Lyon from France. Now, just one thing to clean up from last episode before we get to the games is... We were going for 100 points. We played at Huddersfield and we were absolutely horrible. We were so bad. It was so disappointing. We end the season on 97 points. Uh, Rojo with the only goal for us. We equalised at the time. Um, you can see two goals early in the second half. Absolutely killed it off. Um, we were just poor. And if we look at how the league table finished up, uh, well clear, but 97 points. <laughs> so close to the 100. Uh, and it was Leicester, Cardiff and uh, Fulham that ended up going down. But let's not worry about that. Let's get back to the game at hand, which is, of course, the FA Cup final against Spurs. You can see we are the favourites, as we should be as being league champions. Um, but Spurs, as we know, they did beat us during the year. They're one of only two teams that beat us in the league. Three teams, of course, because Huddersfield beat us at the end there. Um, but this is the team we're sending out for the Cup final. It is not Romero in goal. That would have been horrible. It is De Gea in goal. It is uh, Shaw, Bailey, Lindelof, and Valencia Costa back. Matic, Pogba, and Fred, our first choice midfield in there. Sanchez and Suso, they're going to be out wide with Lukaku leading the line. Come on, boys. All right, here we go. Suited and booted, ready for Wembley. They're very defensive. They've got two men camping in front of their back four. So they're just looking to hang on to, uh, to a clean sheet, it looks like. Now, Neville says do it for the supporters. I always think in front of a big final... We want to tell them just to ignore the praise, do it there, relax, play a natural game, the result will come. Um, let's go with that. We just want them to be relaxed. You know, it's a big occasion, they just don't want to get sort of frozen by it. Now, they shouldn't because they're all very highly paid professional footballers with lots of experience of big games, but you never know what could happen. There we go. And of course, we could do the treble in this episode, couldn't we? If we do manage to win both the finals, um, that, that's it, that's the treble. We've already got the league in the bag, of course. And that would be the Spirit of 99 recaptured. Now, that's a poor part, oh, but they've won that back well. Um, I'm a little bit worried the way the Spurs are setting up here that it's going to be difficult for us to get through. Um, I mean, there is a part of me that's tempted already to look at the wing play. What we might look to do, actually, we might just look to focus our play down the wings because there's not going to be much space in the middle there for us. Um, we, we are, get, looks like, going to have to play wide to get through. Uh, that's what they want us to do, it looks like. There's Pogba. He's look at the man. Look at Suso. Suso's in space. Go on, Suso. Can he find the finish? Suso! Oh, oh, that was a really good opportunity. And how many of those are oh, is a corner? So it's taken a deflection. So it's not Suso's fault. Can we nick something from the corner here? Lukaku's been great from corners all season. It's come in. It's a bit right into the mix-up. Not the best. A bit too close into everybody there. Suso retrieves. Goes across. That looks troublesome. But we've just about got away with that. Um... It was a hold your breath moment though, wasn't it? Let's give it, give it a bit more demand more. We're focused. We're not controlling the ball as we'd like. It's a poor pass. We've won that back. All right, can we build? In your own time, Bailey. There we go to short. Look for your pass. There we go. Freddy, look at the space. Look at Alexi Sanchez on his bike. We've got, look at Pogba's in space as well. Pogba, that's a great pass for Lukaku. Go on, Rom. Go on, Rom. Go on, Rom. Oh, he's trying to chip it. We've tried to chip it and it hasn't worked. We've created two really good chances now and haven't taken either of them. Um, we're not controlling possession, which is a little bit of a worry. But they're not creating chances. So if they're not going to do anything with it, I'm kind of in the mind of thinking they can have the ball. But I'd like to have a little bit more of it than 38%, so that's for sure. Fred, that's a good touch, isn't it? Can he find some space for a shot? It's falling out to Pogba. Can he get a Pogba special? He's fine, Suso. Suso! Oh, Suso! What a stunning goal that is! That is the 1 0 lead for Manchester United, and that is an absolute stunner from Suso. He is paying back that transfer fee with interest right now, isn't he? That cracking pass for Lukaku in the semi finals of the Champions League last episode. And look at this, that's a decent tackle. Pogba's found him nicely. There's nothing on, he's taken a touch. I thought that was going wide, I'll be honest. I. That's why the delayed celebration, but he's just tucked that inside the far post. That's a scream. Now let's concentrate here and not concede it from the corner. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Get in front of it. Get in front of it. De Gea has saved us there, but that was poor. Come on, boys. Let's, we need to be better than that. Oh, that was so, so lucky. They should have scored. That should be one or. Oh, we've got away with that. Um... And now at the end of this episode too, there is going to be a goal of the season competition. Um, it'll probably be a, its own sort of separate episode, but keep an eye out for that. 
Um, there'll be a little poll you can vote for your favourite goal. Um, yeah, so, so keep an eye out for that. It's always uh, always one of my favourite things to do every season is put together the goals of the season competition. Um, now I'm going to say, I mean, I, we weren't that great. We must make sure we see things out and ensure our hands are at the end of the match. I'm almost tempted to say I'm far from pleased, but I'm going to say, I think, an assertive don't get complacent. Um, we're going to go down and do some individual team talks. Some players that aren't playing well, we're just going to tell them so, and then we're 45 minutes from the FA Cup. Come on. All right, here we go. Second goal here, and you'd start to fancy us. Uh, but 1 0 such a narrow lead. We saw that corner. It can go in an instant, kind of. Sanchez is on a run. He's picked out. Oh, he's tried to pick out Suso, but that header's going to fall for Pogba. Look at Valencia. Look at Valencia. He's in so much space. So much space. From the throw in, what can we do? Valencia's waving them in field. He's thrown for Su Suso's not winning the header. Suso and Matic need to switch in that situation. Um, again, I'm the manager. I should probably be able to do that. Sly Kaku! Oh, that was so tight. Um, now, I just had an inappropriate comment then. I'm not going to say it, but you can probably guess what it is. Um, now, uh, after this episode, of course, Football Manager for me doesn't go away. We are going to have two um, two Let's Plays going when the new game launches proper. Valencia is injured. I only have Kearney on the bench. Um... So we can bring up on, and we're going to have to play Lindelof as an emergency right back. That kind of works. It's not ideal, but it kind of works. Now that could put Valencia out of the Champions League final as well, couldn't it? Uh, we do have options in that sense. We do, of course, have... Now we've got to defend this set piece first. We do have Delo. Get that away, get that away, get that away! Oh, there was a good block in there from Eric Bailey, I think it was. Um, come on, demand more. Matt is just looking apprehensive. That's not great. Fred's not having his best game. Do we bring Herrera on? Um, Pog was actually playing quite well. We might make that change, I think. What we're going to do is we're going to bring Herrera on for Pog... Uh, for, sorry, for Fred. And we're going to switch Pogba and Herrera around. There we go. Herrera, of course, club captain. He's a good man to bring off the bench, isn't he? Um, I think, no, Valencia's club captain. So he's vice captain, I think, which is... Given that Valencia's off the field, it probably makes sense to have him on. Um, all right, can we do something here? A second goal now. Just about seals it, doesn't it? Lindelof. We haven't seen him in this role all season. He's got the decent-looking cross in, but it's just a little bit a little bit too floated, a little bit too close to the goalkeeper. Uh, is this highlight going to continue? Um, so let's play. So I'm going to have... There's a, a world tour, which I'm looking forward to getting started. See where that takes us. Anywhere around the world that could end up with. So that is... I think it's going to be exciting. So I hope, uh, hope you guys would... Check in for that. Another series I've called uh, First Star, where what we're going to look to do is bring the first Champions League trophy to, to clubs. There's a chance for Herrera uh, to have it won it before, so they get that star on the badge. Uh, I'm a Villa fan, obviously. I'd like to, you know, other other clubs bring that that one and only star to the club badge. You can cling on to for the rest of your days because it's probably never going to happen again. Um, of course, Manchester United don't have that problem, do they? That's a good tackle. Shaw's going to go and retrieve it. We've got 15 minutes to go here. We don't, probably don't need to be attacking now. We could probably go back to positive. That's a decent pass for Pogba. Pogba's tried to loop one in there for Suso. He's not quite there, but Herrera's going to pick up that loose pass. Oh, it's a good tackle for Lukaku, but the ball's falling for Suso. Win it for his son. Win it for his... Oh, Suso! That is the double for Suso, and that is probably the FA Cup. But more importantly, what about that finish from Suso? How calm was that? Just waiting for the keeper to move, slotted it past him. That was a really... Suso's been absolutely magnificent this game. Decent header there, but look at this pass. Look at this pass. Oh, it wasn't a pass, sorry. It was a tackle, but it was as good as a pass, wasn't it? And look at that finish. Tiba not given a chance. Really, really good. Suso, what a signing. Will he be the signing of the year at the end of season awards? You'd have to... Oh, can he get the hat-trick? Suso for the hat-trick! Oh! I thought that was going to be it for a second there. Is it time for a Paju j a jig on the sidelines? Uh, do we want to make another sub here? We could probably do a time waster. Let's give them some... some what do we say here? We don't really have to say anything. Just about there, boys. Just about there. <clears throat> do we bring anybody on? I don't think we need to. The strikers haven't had their best game. It's Suso. Suso's won this for us because uh, Sanchez and Pogba have been... Uh, Pogba... And, uh, well, anyway, let's not worry about it, because we've won the game. So, and Sanchez and, and, and uh, Lukaku have been relatively poor, but that doesn't matter now, because there we go, celebrating 
the FA Cup. That's the double, the domestic double. Can we get the treble? We will find out very, very soon, won't we? And against Leon, you'd have to back us, wouldn't you? But we've we've absolutely smashed them, haven't we? We've created them more chances. They've had more of the ball, but like I say, if you're not going to do anything with it, let them have it. Um, let's give them a passionate, very well done, boys. Enjoy your success for a couple of days, but then we'll be back for the Champions League final. And there it is. We lift the FA Cup. Suso, what a player he has turned out to be for us. Now let's have a look. How long is Valencia out? Four, three to five weeks. He's done. Oh, he's out of the Champions League final. That is a big blow. Um, Delo, I think, will be the man to come in. But we'll see how we go. Wait right there, guys. We'll be back for a Champions League final. Okay, welcome back. It is the Champions League final, and I am so happy to be out of that suit. I cannot describe how much I hate wearing suits. Uh, but it's worth it for the FA Cup, isn't it? But we're off to... Uh, the Metropolitano de Madrid Stadium in, obviously, Madrid. And it's going to be Leon in the final. And this is the team we're sending out. Now, I think we get 12 subs for this. I don't know why we get 12 subs for the final. Um, but I think we do. But it's the same team, essentially. Uh, Left Valencia, of course, who I'm just ashamed, but he misses out on the uh, on the final. So it's Degayer in goal. Short, Bailey, Lindelof, and Delo across the back. Matic, Pogba, and Fred in midfield. Sanchez and Suso, if he can play like he did against Tottenham, will be home free, won't we? And, of course, Lukaku leading the line. Other injury news, William Jose, he's picked up a knock. He's out as well. Um, so we are kind of a striker down. Of course, the good thing with William Jose is that he's sort of a more physical presence than Martial or Rashford, so uh, it's a little bit disappointing to lose him. Now, we can see they're setting up very similarly to Spurs, aren't they? Now, they have a good team. Let's not kid ourselves. They didn't get to the final by mistake. Um, Neville again says do it for the fans. Again, it's a final. I like just saying... Um, let the, uh, go out there straight from the finish of the last game. Let's play your game and you'll win. You're capable of that. Oh, I just want to say there's no pressure on you. There is no. What can we say for that? Um, teams such as ours should be winning. Win this trophy for yourselves, but also the fans who have been and deserve the success. Expecting of us go out and carry on. We left on the last match. If you play your game, you'll win. You are very capable of that. I guess that's the one. Um, and then some passionate. We have faith. Just want to tell them, just go out there, do your thing, boys. Do your thing. We're going to keep our tactics the same. We're going to be attacking them. Um, we're not going to sit back. We're going to really, really have a go at them. And here it is. Way for Champions League anthem for the final time. It's our final Manchester United game. It's a little bit uh, a little bit sad, isn't it? I, I, you know, I, I, mean, I haven't done that much to build the team. But, you know, if you, get to, you get to like your players, don't you? Um, but let's hope, let's hope we put on a good performance here. And, and lift the Champions League trophy. Gets a decent ball in. It's headed across. Goal! Would be a fourth Champions League for Manchester United, I think, off the top of my head. There was the one back in the day. There was the one in 99. And there was the one against Chelsea, if I'm not mistaken. So I think they've won it three times. This would be a fourth if we could go up, uh, go ahead and win it, of course. Let's not count chickens yet. Um, some of their players are looking nervous. That's to our benefit. Now let's see here. We've got to throw in, but it's in our half. Can we win this ball back? We can't quite snap in there they've gone over the top we should get that looks like we will Lindelof is there let's see what we can do now of course after this game we'll have our end of season awards so win lose or draw make sure you stick around for that there's a good pass from Fred for Lukaku go on Rob what a finish from Romelu Lukaku first time on the volley over the shoulder that's an absolute cracker and that is 1-0 in the final to Manchester United what a ball and what a finish from Romelu Lukaku that will probably feature in goals of the season Look at this. There was nothing on whatsoever. You I mean, you could argue it was a long board. Delo comes in. Look at that. Pogba first time pass to find Fred in space. And look at this. On the volley, over the shoulder, Romelu Lukaku. Stand up and take a bow, mate. Because that's absolutely stunning. That's a, that's a goal for a Champions League final, isn't it? That was amazing. Let's... Do we praise them? Let's let's demand more. Let's demand more still. Match ratings aren't fantastic. Look at that. They're looking nervous. As you should, boys. As you should. Come on. Let's see here. We've got a throw. It's in our own half, though. Delo goes for Suso. Suso, that's an early ball for Rom again. Go on, Lukaku. We're just starting to really click, aren't we, the second half of this season. Lukaku, can you pick out a teammate? He can. It's, it's there for Fred. Fred Oh, he missed it. That touch to find... To let the defender go past, though. Again, absolute class from Fredgy. This is, look at that, they're anxious, they're nervous, and they, they can see how good we are. The rumours are true, boys. We are incredible. Oh, that's absolutely, come on. We need a second goal here. We're, we're dominating the game. We need to make sure. Let's show some passion. A couple of them are looking motivated. They didn't like that. That's fine. That's fine. Can we nick a second before half time? 
Luke Shaw in for Pogba. It's a little bit of space there. If he can run into it, he can. Pogba, he's going to go himself. No, he's laid it off. Delow, can he get across? And look at the men in the box. We've loaded the box. It comes in. It's the penalty. It is a penalty. I'm not sure what's happened there. But this is a chance right on the stroke of half time to wrap this up. Come on, Pogs. Oh, he's been so good from the penalty spot all season. Can he continue that streak when it counts most? Come on, Pogba. Come on, Pogba. Oh, hey! He sent the keeper the wrong way. 2-0. And is that the Champions League trophy coming back to Old Trafford as well? Can I praise them for that? We'll praise them at halftime. It's li they're literally going to walk in uh, after the celebration and, uh, and get the halftime drinks. Sent the keeper the wrong way. Really good penalty, that one, wasn't it? That's amazing. 2-0 up. We've dominated the game. It is no less than we've deserved. Look at that. They're anxious. They're frustrated. Their manager's going to have to get a Harry Potter wand out at halftime to fix that because that, that looks permanently damaged, doesn't it? But let's not count chickens yet, as I said. Lukaku and Pogba, though, the two big players, they've stepped up when we need them most. It's going to have to be an assertive don't get complacent. Um, it's easy to do at this point, isn't it, to start celebrating, but we can't do that. 45 minutes, though, guys. Let's go and win this trophy. All right, let's go. Now, we don't need to attack anymore. We'll just drop back to positive. Um, no tactical changes, obviously. Let's see, Suso's in done well to intercept that. Can we put this to bed early on in the second half? No, we can't. I thought there might be something on there, but not to be. All right, Suso... Set piece delivery is absolutely superb. Go on. Oh. I tell you what, if you guys are managing a sort of a club with money, I do highly recommend having a look at Suso because he's. We've seen what he didn't do in the FA Cup in terms of finishing, but his set piece delivery is absolutely amazing. I don't know. It's, I can't always remember. Oh, it's another penalty. That's horrible defending. Uh, I can't always remember what games sort of is seen on the channel and what games I've played off offline here, but his set piece delivery is absolutely amazing. He's honestly he's worth. He's worth the money. Go and have a look at him. Right, Ken Pogba wrap this up for us. Oh, that one. Well, he scored the one that counted. Let's let's bear that in mind. But that's yeah. He's tried to go the opposite way. Keeper's read his mind and has been there for the save. Comes in. Oh, I thought Fred was going to knock that in. Um, we don't need to panic at that. We don't need to panic. We just need to. What do we need to do here? We'll just praise them. Well done, boys. There we go. Uh, now, Matic isn't having his best game. Neither is Sanchez. Sanchez has gone off the boil just a little bit lately. Uh, we do have Rashford and Martial on the bench. I'm wondering, in terms of changes here, if we maybe look at Rashford. Rashford's played well for us this second half of the year. Oh, what are we doing? What are we doing? We've stopped playing. Oh, what a save from David De Gea. That, the follow-up miss was pretty bad, but that save from David... Now, was it offside anyway? Possibly. But that could have just really rescued this game for us. Because if we miss a penalty and then they get back to 2-1, you start to worry a little bit. Um, come on. They are coming back into this. That should be easy and is. Uh, I am going to make that sub for Sanchez and so many subs. That's almost ridiculous. Sanchez and Rashford will make that change. Um, yeah, Sanchez just hasn't quite been at it, has he? He had a couple of good runs in the cup final. But... Yeah, hasn't quite had that finished product. We'll see if Rashford can deliver that. It's a long ball. There's no other way to describe that from Lindelof. Um, it's not really controlled possession, but that's okay. Let's see what's going to happen here. Let's keep our heads. Let's defend well. Luke Shaw is watch that sail over him. That's not the best defending. Torre cuts inside. Get in front. Get in front of it. Get in front of it. That's 2-1. And this game is not yet over. That... Ah, that makes it nerve-wracking. 3-0 and it's done, isn't it? But this this is not over yet. 2-1 is a problem. Could we have rushed? We could have maybe closed that space down in front of Depay a little bit sooner. Of course, Depay scoring against his old club. I remember when he signed for Manchester United and I thought he was going to be amazing for them and it just never worked out, did it? Unfortunately, he has uh, found the worst possible time to show Manchester United fans he can actually play football. Now Rashford's on a good run here. Go on, Rashford. He's picked out Suso. Suso! Oh, he's going to come straight back. Um, let's give this a demand more, because I get the feeling we might have just clocked off a little bit. They're still looking anxious and nervous. They should still be there for us. We, if we had another goal now, 20 minutes to go, and you'd say we've got it. We're dominating this game. How is it 2-1? How is this even nervy? Oh, we've got a nervous-looking Eric Bailly. That's that's okay. Come on, demand more. Fred, what can he do? That's not a good pass. That's not a good pass. 
Oh, we're just clocking off a little bit here. I'm wondering, they're coming through the middle a lot here. Oh, no, get that. Oh, was that a save from De Gea? They're coming through the middle at us. Let's maybe try and defend a little bit narrower here. They just keep coming through the middle, don't they? So let's try that. Uh, I'm wondering if we could drop off a little bit. Let's go. This is what we're going to do. We're going to go to my counter-attacking tactic here. And just try and see this out. Just be sensible. We don't need to do anything silly. We just need to hang on. <laughs> to a 2 one win. Well, we're in stoppage time. We're in stoppage time. Come on. Oh, no. It's the final seconds. This is it. This is the last attack. Matic has got there. He's headed that clear. Can we get this clear again? Matic, good tackle, Matic. Right, just clear it. Just put your foot through it. There it is. We are the Champions League champions. We've done the treble. The spirit of 99. Sir Alex, Aussie villain. Sir Aussie villain. I will uh, I'll take that title. Thank you, Queen. Um, but there we go. For the second time this episode, we celebrate a trophy. The fans sing at Championes. There I am in my Aussie villain suit, yellow jacket, and of course blue pants for the villa. 2 1 with a penalty miss. We gave him a chance, didn't we? That's huge. That gets the Champions League title off my back nice and early in FM 19 as well. But yeah, there we go. Celebrate it, boys. And there it is. We lift the Champions League trophy. That's amazing. We've done a famous treble. That is. That's very satisfying. It really is very, very satisfying. Um, but like I say, that's it. We've finished at Manchester United, which is flown by, hasn't it? Time flies by when you're having fun. Guys, wait right there. Before we uh, before we call it a, a series, an episode, uh, we are going to have a look at our end of season awards, see uh, who are the best players. So wait right there for that. And here they are, the end of season awards. So let's have a look here. Our uh, player of the season was Lindelof. Apparently Manchester United love a defender. Did not see that coming. Uh, Luke Shaw, he was really good. I, I do I did appreciate Luke Shaw and Fred. He was really good as well. Can't argue with any of them. I'm just surprised the defender got the award. Poor Pogba, his goal against Monaco is the one that the, uh, the game says is the best goal. That'll be one of the ones you can vote for in goals of the season. It'll be a separate episode. It'll be up the same time though. So, uh, so go and check that out if you haven't already uh, and vote for your favourite. Uh, Kieran Tierney signing of the season. I mean, it's Suso for me, to be honest. Tierney got injured, hardly played. I think it's Suso. But long-term, Tierney may well prove the better signing. Uh, and Luke Shaw, young player of the year. Our team of the season, the Gayer in goal. I, mean, it's a note. I think he just about played every game for us. Uh, Luke Shaw, Rojo, Lindelof, and Valencia. That was our go-to back four for a long time of the season. Rojo's injury halfway through. Uh, Eric Bailey kind of came in, did a good job, so he kept the role. But very difficult to argue with that. Matic, Pogba, Fred, no-brainer. That's the That is... The best midfield trio. Sanchez, Suso, and Lukaku again. I think the last couple of games, this episode has shown that they were pretty much our best uh, three attacking players. Suso has done well to get in the team of the season after only signing in January, though, hasn't he? Let's have a look at the stats. Lukaku, top goal scorer with 27. Pogba, highest a match rating with 7.57. Sanchez, 16 assists, max out that. Herrera, 89% pass rate, our best passer of the ball. Lukaku, seven player of the match awards. Herrera, uh, yellow cards of nine. William Jose, Got to mention, signing in January, got the only red card of the season. Uh, so I guess well done to him. Okay, thank you. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Um, I just want to, first of all, say how proud I am of the team. It's a magnificent effort to win the treble. Uh, it's been a tough season. It hasn't been as easy as it's possibly looked at times. Uh, and I'm just really, really happy for the players and really, really proud of our achievement. Um, it's been, as I said, an, an amazing season. Now, I do just want to take this opportunity to announce my resignation for Manchester United. Uh, this was only ever going to be a one-season project. I'm absolutely thrilled with how successful the season has been. Um, but it is time to move on. Uh, I wish the players very well for the future. I wish the club well. And I'm sure whoever it is that comes in to replace me will carry on the success uh, that this great club deserves. Um, I'll take a few questions. Ah, oh, yes. Harry Smithington, British journalist. Given the success of this season, are you tempted to stay on at Manchester United? Yeah, I mean, it is it is tempting, and I have had a few second thoughts, but ultimately, I promised myself when I started this, uh, took this job, that it was going to be for a season, one season only. Um, like I say, the players and the, and the club have been absolutely fantastic. I'm so, so thrilled uh, with how far we've come in just one season. Uh, hopefully, the the, the, the the pain, I guess, the, the, the torturous football of the previous manager has now been left behind, and the club can carry on forward, uh, you know, in, 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 in this vein.
Ah, uh, yes, me again. So what is next for you? What do you see as your next project? What's next? Um, good question. I haven't really fully decided yet. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm thinking I might go on a bit of a world tour. You know, we've, we've conquered England. Uh, we might go on a little bit of a world tour. See what's available. See what's out there for me. I have no idea um, what, what is out there, what the future holds. Ah, uh, yes, Aussie. Now, if you're off to the colonies, would you ever consider coming back to England? I'd love to come back to England one day. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's, you know, I like to challenge myself. I like fresh, fresh things, fresh challenges, fresh ideas. Uh, and I think the best way to do that right now is possibly um, to go and visit other countries. And a follow-up, would you consider Manchester United as a destination? When I come back to Manchester United, um, they always say never go back, don't they? Um, so I'd say, I'd say it's unlikely. Um, but again, never say never because you just don't know what the future holds. That's it for today. That's it for, for this season. That's it for me at Manchester United. Thank you so much for everybody, uh, all the support you've given me. Um, you know, the press has been absolutely amazing supporting me uh, in press conferences. So again, thank you to you guys as well. But that's it. I'm off to celebrate with my team uh, what has been a magnificent season and a Champions League title. So guys, that's it. That is Manchester United done and done. The Vita save. The full the version of the game obviously comes out tomorrow and we'll have fresh saves for that. Uh, as I said, it's going to be the Aussie Villain World Tour and of course the first star as well. Um, and the first club we're going to do for that, I'll keep a secret. You'll have to tune in to see who that is. Um, it'll be very obvious when the thumbnail comes out. But this is what we've done this year. Look at that. We've won three trophies. Of course, the Premier League, the FA Cup and the Champions League. Personally, uh, Manager of the Month four times and Manager of the Year, obviously, just the once, which is pretty good going, I'd have to say. But guys, that's it. Be sure to check out Goals of the, of the Season. But that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Until tomorrow, as I said, we'll be at a whole new club with all new adventures, players, and a whole lot of other things going on. I've been Aussie Villain. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.